Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, and it's chilly out here. But I'm not going to get a jacket because last time I was chilly like this and I got a jacket, I got too warm on my walk. So that's not going to happen today. Uh, it's 58. I think I told you that, but if not, it's 58. That's why it's so chilly. It's only supposed to go up to 67 today. I'm concerned about Gina Pearson because I think she lives near the, well, she lives in California. I won't say exactly where she lives. But um, I'm wondering if she lives anywhere near where the fires are. I don't know exactly in what proportion to the state that she lives. But hopefully she's safe. And today is Vicki Vidar 57. It's mother's 89th birthday. Happy birthday. 89. I want to get to at least 90. That's my goal. At least 90. And then once I hit 90, you know, I, you just kind of wonder... Well, maybe not you, but I do. I always thought when I was younger that, you know, like 50 was old, and then 60 was old, and then 70 was old. Now I'm thinking 80 is old. Um, but then when you get to be 80, do you think, is today my last day? Is tomorrow my next day? When you're 81, was this my last year? When you get to be 85, how much longer? That's how I think. That's how I always think. I mean, I could go today. and You know, nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. Nobody's even guaranteed today. But... I'd like to think that I'm going to make it to at least 90. If I make it till 90, that's 25 years. And so my youngest grandson will be 30. So hopefully by then he'll have found his true love. <clears throat> well, all of my ch all my grandchildren, I hope, find someone that's good for you. I just want somebody that loves them. That's all that matters to me. I don't really care about anything else. I just, I just think that even with my kids, I always... You know, I always remember I did the same thing with my kids that my mom did with me, that uh, when they would bring friends over, my mom would be the same one. I would be as nice as pie to them. I'd be so sweet. And then when they left, and my mother did the same thing, and when they left, I'd say, you know, they were really nice, but not for you. Don't ever bring them back. Don't ever hang out with them. Because you can kind of see who's good for your kids. Well, you can see who's good for you, and sometimes you just don't pick the right people. But that's just the way of life. Yeah, sometimes you have to have your friends point out that somebody else is not good for you. Because you just don't see it. You're just kind of blind to that. I'm um, going to have the chicken today. I'm going to put the hamburger. I have another package of hamburger. I'm going to put that in the freezer. So I'm going to have the chicken today with um, a vegetable. So I think I'm going to make that squash. I have the other half of that uh, acorn squash. So I'm going to have that and the acorn squash for dinner. And I probably, I'll probably have a potato. And then um, for lunch, I'm going to have, um, what did I, I already knew what I was going to have for lunch. I'm going to have a piece of cheese, because I've got to have my cheese. Oh, a hard-boiled egg and um, an apple. And for breakfast, I'm kind of leaning towards having some pancakes again with the uh, sugar-free strawberry or sugar-free raspberry jelly on top of it instead of syrup and a cup of tea. And then like an hour later, have my grapefruit and bananas. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think, I've, I think I've decided. I find that if I plan out my day, it's, it, it makes it easier and better for me. Although <coughs> the menu I just chose does not come close to my 35 points. So I'm going to have to figure out something in there to, to bring it up a little closer. I did, like I said, I went so crazy on Sunday, I really used way more than my, um, what do you call it, um, weekly points. I think if I figured it out, it was even more than my 71-point dinner when I went out to head the hamburgers and fries. Tomorrow's Jim's birthday, and we're going out to dinner, so I am going to be going out, and I have to make a better choice tomorrow. I just have to make a better choice. There's no doubt about it. And then on Thursday for his birthday, it's Jim's birthday on Thursday, we're having a turkey dinner with all the fixings. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to the uh, my friends in um, Canada. I think it was yesterday. But happy Thanksgiving, a day late, a day late, a dollar short. Who knows? So, um, oh, what a pretty bird. Pretty bird, pretty bird. <laughs> like a parakeet. Pretty bird, pretty bird. No, it wouldn't be a parakeet. That'd be a parrot. Getting to know my birds. I don't think I know a hummingbird because I haven't seen but two all year. Maybe next year. I'm going to keep it out and have it out earlier. Let's see. I, I put water in the in the uh, bird bath all the time. I, I won't be able to do that in the winter. It'll freeze. But 
Okay, just rambling now. Let's go. Let's go for our walk. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I was like the, the knight. No, wait a minute. I was like Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade when the knight said to him, to Indiana Jones, you chose wisely. I didn't need a jacket. It's a little breezy. Let's go into the garage. It was a nice walk. I uh, got home. I did a little bit of weeding. And what else did I do? I put some fresh water in my bird feeder, in my bird bath, rather. I fed my birds. Um, walked over to Denise's because we. I have a stain in my, if anybody knows how, I have a stain in my stainless steel kitchen sink, and I can't figure out how to get rid of it. I don't even know what it is. It seems like, I think what it is, is when Jim was cleaning his gums, he spilled some oil when he was getting his pan of water. He says no, but I think that's what it is. But I think it's some kind of an oil stain. And so Denise and I were going to share the cost of CLR to see if that worked because she wanted to put it in her washing machine, which I know it will work in there, but it didn't work for me. So I was walking it back over to her so she could have it for her washing machine. And I do think I'm going to have the pancakes for breakfast. For lunch, I think I might have the egg and I might have some turkey with the cheese and some vegetables and dip. I'm trying to add the points. And so I'm trying to just not add fattening points, but just add points. I, I think the potato with the sour cream, that's going to be 10, and the chicken's going to be... So, I mean, my dinner's going to probably be right around 14 or 15 points. So I just got to come up with 20 between the other two meals. My breakfast will probably be 10, so it's just lunch I got to figure out, I'm getting that up to 10 points. I know I can go like three points either way, I'm trying to be a little bit under, only because I, like I told you, I did so poorly on Sunday. And I figured out that the pizza, I think the pizza's, I think it was 10 points a slice. And you figure I had five slices. So that's 50 points right there, plus my pop. And I had three cans of pop. So that's 12, so that's 36, so that's 86 points. And then the mozzarella sticks got to be at least 30 or 40. So I had like a 130 point day. And even with my weeklies, I should only have 45 and 35 is 90, is 80, is 80. So I was like way over. But you know, it was one day uh, I made a mistake, which I love about Weight Watchers. The next day is a whole new day, a whole new start. So I started all over. I did really well yesterday. I'm going to do well today. Um, I'm going to choose wisely tomorrow, and even with a Thanksgiving dinner, I'm going to rein it in. Jim asked for German chocolate cake. Once again, coconut, so I won't be having any cake. And he picked a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. No, not so much. I don't like, I like strawberries. But you know, as much as I like cheese, I don't like cheesecake. Go figure. All right. So let's go in and drink our water. I got a little bit of housework to do. And that's about it. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, look at me eating before one. It really is me, truly. Um, there's my breakfast. And I started my day with a prayer. I drank 42 ounces of water. I've walked 6,202 steps. My quote is, you will never leave where you are until you decide you will, where you would rather be. The 35 smart points. I have a third of a cup of pancake mix for five points, two slices, or three slices of bacon for two points, zero for my sugar-free jam, my grapefruit, my banana, so it's a seven-point breakfast. I have 28 points left for the rest of the day. Okay, it's lunchtime. Uh, I'm not really that hungry, but I thought, um, well, that looks like I'm hungry, doesn't it? <laughs> I just can't make a small plate. I, that's what I got to work on. Um, I have 28 smart points, two for my egg, three for my two for my three ounces of turkey, three for my two slices of boar's head Col Colby Jack cheese, um, zero for the cucumber and tomato and the water. So it's seven points. I have 21 smart points left. Kind of got my paper a little wet. The pen went right. Okay, let's eat dinner. I'm gonna have a piece of chicken, some sweet potato. I forgot I had one and squash. So I have 21 smart points. I have I weighed the chicken before I cooked it. It was 10 ounces raw, so it's five points. Uh, zero for the acorn squash. I have a half a cup of sweet potato yams. 
for two points, zero for my tea and water, and I have one tablespoon of butter for five. So it's a 12 point dinner. So I had nine points still left for the night. We'll see. Well, I know I still have nine points to use, but I'm just not hungry. I'm just, I'm really full. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. I had too many points on the weekend and uh, just to try to balance it out that way. I did put up my Halloween decorations and let me see what else, where else did I go? I put those up and I put those up and then I'll show you over here. I put my dining room table my dining room table all done and what else did I do oh I did by my front door this table by my front door feel pretty accomplished here let me turn the lights off so you can see how spooky I spooky it looks in here without the lights on if I can get the light off there we go there's my mantle and there's my other spooky, spooky. Well, tomorrow is Jim's birthday, and I'm taking him out to dinner for his birthday. And he hasn't told me where he's going yet, so I don't know. But I'm going to track my points, and I'm probably going to have iced tea. I'm not going to have, um, I'm not going to have pop. I've made that decision. And I'm going to choose something healthy. And tomorrow I go to Water Aerobics with Birdie. And I gotta go to the Secretary of State because I gotta get plates for the cars. We put both cars in Jim's name. Well, they're in both of our names, but the first name is Jim's. So the plates come due on his birthday. So I gotta do both of them. So I'm gonna do that. Um, in Michigan, you do call ahead. So when I come out of my swim class, I'm gonna call ahead to get my place in line and go over. And I'm gonna register to vote. I've never voted in my life, which I'm not proud of that fact, but I'm going to start voting now, so I have to, while I'm there, I'm going to register to vote. And then what else I got to do? I got to go to the bank and transfer money back around. I bought some lights that I was going to put for the, uh, some like white clear lights. They look really cool. They were like string lights, and they look like they were like on a, I don't know, like on a string, obviously, but uh, they're battery operated. I thought that I could plug them in, and it takes three AAA batteries, and they work for six hours, and then they're off for 18, and then they're on for six hours. Well, I don't know how long that battery's going to last, and so it's just easier for me to uh, bring them back and just go get uh, some that I can plug in. So other than that, that's all. No big, no other big plans for tonight other than watch some TV. And I didn't eat all of the acorn squash. It just wasn't cooked well enough. I mean, it was cooked, but not enough. I, it probably needed another 20 minutes, but everything else was done. So I kind of ate the uh, top part of it, but when it got into the bottom part, it was still kind of stringy. So I didn't eat that. But I did see a recipe that I'm going to try with my next one. It's, um, you put, you make the squash, you know, hollow it out, and then you cut up an apple and put it in there and sprinkle some cinnamon on it and bake it in the oven. I thought I'd try that. When I do, I'll let you know. I'll show you my preparation of that one when I do it. But that's about it for now. And uh, I haven't said it in a while, but like this video, comment, subscribe, and share it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.